let me introduce you to the great army that you will be joining in matter of days pakistan army is a true reflection of the proud nation that you represent from the all volunteer induction to the ratio of each province represented in your rank and file from madrasa to public school background from a son of a humble worker to a son of an affluent person and even more importantly the ward of a shaheed you are a true microcosm of pakistan please bear in mind as you pass out that very soon you will own the successes and failure of this great nation and the army many of which occurred long before you were born you will also be held accountable towards the well-being security and prosperity of pakistan long after you fade away from service and even life this is a unique burden of love and responsibility that the nation has put on your shoulders whereas none other is asked to be accountable for anyone other than his or her own self i count it as a great honor that we stand before the nation as a trusted and accountable institution therefore regardless of our failings and triumphs we stand to give our best whenever we are called upon to do so pakistan is a developing country but our people have big hearts they will always respect and honor you even in your time of test and trial you have to maintain this sacred trust with unflinching commitment and total loyalty this relationship has been sealed and secured with countless night vigils toils and hardships and above all the sweat of our ghazis and the blood of our shaheeds it is now your duty to honor and protect it you must strive to remain disciplined dutiful and above board you will be required to live your youthful years in frugality and hardship consider it not as a challenge and not as a punishment r is the path less traveled in this path you first commit and deliver before you are rewarded at the same time you must realize that peace is not an end in itself our decades of effort will be wasted if we are unable to protect the base from where our nation will rise to the heights of economic sovereignty and ideological maturity thus truly becoming qaids pakistan like many countries in the past we have also subjected to wars terrorism and economic strangulation that has broken many countries but alhamdulillah we have survived now it's only through the synergy and actualization of our true national potential that we shall rise and progress my dear cadets the enemies who plotted our doom and destructions are now watching us with disdain having failed and feeling frustrated they have now subjected us to a 24/7 hybrid war this war is not fought in the battlefield but in the minds in this new war however leadership at all level is the target remember we are all soldiers of pakistan regardless of our caste creed set and ethnicity and we will always stand together as one as this is our strength the objective of hybrid war is to target the sense of hope in pakistan and to perpetuate the perception of yahan kuch acha nahi ho sakta let me tell you yahan sab acha hoga we pakistanis always find a way and that we will inshallah but do not confuse sincere critique from hybrid most voices that you might seem loud to you come from a place of love patriotism and trust and therefore must be heeded we must listen to our people and apply correction where needed these voices are a proof that we are alive and well as a nation that is moving in the right direction our strength is our strong bond with our people constitution of our country democracy and democratic values that our people follow and therefore we shall defend this bond and our democratic value to the hilt my dear cadets our actions are guided by constitutions and the national interest of pakistan 
you will appreciate that today pakistan is alhamdulillah secure from military point of view we continue to support the government whenever asked to as per the law and guidelines of the constitution we pakistanis have proved that we can do wonders when we keep our national interest above our parochial institutional and personal interest pakistan army is proud to support the nation as it has always supported us especially when we were fighting the physical enemies of pakistan you have been asked to stand firm in very difficult times but stand you must we must not be complacent so close to the finish line in the end i once again congratulate you on this memorable day in your life At the same time i offer my felicitations to your proud parents who are part of this momentous ceremony which i am sure is a matter of great delight and pride for them pakistan army zindabad pakistan pindabad